Indiana coming off a loss against Wisconsin in the season finale, a game that they actually led 30 minutes of the 40, but couldn't get it done. But Joey Brunt gets it done on his first opportunity. And a won that one, 82-74. The first matchup way back on December 13th went to overtime in Bloomington, and the Hoosiers held on. Defensively, they're, they're just so short-handed that they're going to really have to be efficient from this end. And that's the guy that you talked about, and he cheated their best score. The potential is there. And the last three, he's played well. 20 points, 19 points, and 17. And the last three for this man, Hadeem Cheetah. As he leads the charge, kicks it off to Gervais Green. Help! Durham. Yes! Well, that's confidence right there. But you can't fit into that 36 regular. I can. <laughs> so, he and I should talk. Nice left-hand finish, Joey Brown. That pressure, Kevin Cross, he's the kind of guy, multi-skilled, that will fit in very well in Hoiberg's system. Trace Jackson Davis attacks with a left hand. Of course, maybe a bad pass leads to a turnover. Nebraska's first turnover of the game. Indiana has three of them. Wide open, Trace Jackson Davis. Mention rolled that left ankle in the first half against Wisconsin. Trace Jackson Davis, a block shot, doing it on both ends. Green lost it, got it back, lost it again. Five Indiana turnovers so far. Oh, man. And it leads to Cheetah with a foot on the line, knocking down a two. Here comes the double on Smith. They kick it around to a wide open Jerome Hunter. That was pretty basketball. Yes, it was. I can put it in the hole like that. It's very valuable to their approach. Jackson Davis continues his good start. He's got six points. We haven't even played 18 minutes. Now think about how much Nebraska is attacking the basket. And there's Armand Franklin, that young freshman we were talking about. And Fred Hoiberg wants a timeout. Jackson Davis, good pass. Smith, up and in. 11-0 run, Indiana. Now they're both back on the floor, and so is Joey Brunk. Jackson Davis, knifing through the lane for two. Yeah, if he gets contact, he can muscle through it. Fennessey, full head of steam, right to the rim. Dating back to the first half, it's now a 20 to 1 Indiana run. Sophomore Rob Fennessy. Now Cheatham. Reverse five. That might have been even better than the one he had in the first half. They've got to get in the passing lane to see if they can get some deflection. In rhythm, Fennessy on a nice pass from his backcourt buddy Al Durham. Cheatham spinning. No. Justin Smith, there's no stopping the Hoosiers right now, and Brett Hoiberg knows it. Easily run out. Up and there is the 11th block of the game for Indiana. Jerome Hunter, his eyes lit up like a Christmas tree. And Devontae Green, man, when he gets hot, look out. Pass too far for Thompson to handle. Cross. Nice Euro step up and in. Continuity. Another chance. Cheatham sees Gervais Green. Oh, Passes it beautifully. Been settling for those outside shots. Cross. Man, he is feeling it. 23. A career high for the freshman from Little Rock, Arkansas. And here's one of those backcourt guards, Armand Franklin, knocking down his second three of the night. Green nice handles. Green nice finish. And Green's got the body. I think Cheetah got away with a little hack right there. Good finish. Al Durham has 10. Came in obviously shorthanded. Coach a little under the weather. I mean, they're missing two of their top three players. One minute, one minute remaining. 
Joey Brunk in Indiana, continuing the offensive output of 25. But the bigger story, Indiana gets win number 20 in convincing fashion as they pull away 89-64.